Hey guys, let's chat about why dieting isn't all about being skinny. I go into these groups and I see all of these crash diets that people are doing or extreme diets and then they're talking about how much they're struggling and all these weird side effects that they're getting and they have a lot of difficult time keeping up with it. As soon as they quit, all of the weight comes back. They don't feel better. They didn't feel better while they were on it. They didn't feel better after they got off of the diet and that's a big problem. So, I mean, your, your main goal should be health. Health is, is everything. If you don't have your health, you have nothing. I don't care how skinny you are. I actually am one of those people that had the exact opposite problem. So I used to think I knew what health was, you know, based on what the school system taught me. And I was severely underweight. I was so underweight. I could feel all of the bones in my body. And I, it was uncomfortable for me to sleep and lay down. And I, I just, I looked like a skeleton. After I got clued in that it was my diet and I was not healthy, I changed it and I started eating like lots of whole foods. I got rid of inflammatory foods like crispy chickens because that's fried chicken in a sandwich, vegetable oil, canola oil, uh, Crisco, I, all of that stuff is very inflammatory. High fructose corn syrup forces your body to hold on to weight. So I, uh, you know, I quit all that and I started eating lots of whole foods and I started juicing and it, it was amazing. I put on weight and I put on a healthy amount of weight. Like I don't look underweight anymore. I feel better. I break a lot less bones. I haven't broken a bone in years and I used to break them constantly. I used to be constantly in and out of hospitals with like infections, like chronic ear infections and just sinus infections, catching every cold and flu that was going around. It was just, I was just sick, just constantly sick. And doctors really couldn't give me clear answers on why this, that, or the other was happening. It's just, I was born that way. I must have bad genetics. And that wasn't the case at all. I had no idea what I was doing. Obviously, most people have the other problem where when they're not eating right, they balloon out and they have lots of weight. I've noticed that when they cut out anything that's inflammatory, they cut out the fried foods, they cut out the unhealthy oils, they uh, cut out high fructose corn syrup, and they just stick with whole foods. Yeah, it's a little extra work when it comes to meal prepping, but your food's gonna taste better and the weight will naturally just drop off. You don't have to be extreme. You don't have to give up everything you love. I cook lots of cleaned up meals using whole ingredients so that I don't feel like I'm missing out, right? Do you got a favorite casserole? There is a cleaned up version of it out there so you can still enjoy it. And it will most likely taste better because you don't have all those chemicals in it like MSG and other things that manufacturers do to enhance flavor and make it really intense. I now can't, can't eat those foods. My mother made me a banana cream pie right when I uh, visited her a couple weekends ago and I hadn't had one in forever. I was shocked at how much sugar was in it. Cause I'm just, I'm not, I'm not used to that level of sugar. Now everything was natural. There was no weird chemicals or anything like that in it. It's just, I'm not used to that much sugar. <laughs> so obviously you got to cut the, the sugar level down, avoid white sugar as much as possible because it is very inflammatory and there's just no little to no value in it. Better alternatives for that would be things like, um, like sorghum syrup, and molasses and honey agave there's there's lots of great alternatives i mean it's still sugar but it's nowhere near as damaging as white sugar i still like agave in my coffee i don't like my coffee totally black if you're doing things in moderation it's okay now obviously if you have a serious illness you want to avoid all sugar altogether because sugar feeds disease you know and if you're struggling with getting your weight down and it's not where you need it to be you just feel stuck there might be an underlying hormonal issue. You know, and at that point, you really do wanna work with an expert, whether it's a naturopathic doctor, an herbalist, a homeopathic doctor, an acupuncturist, you know, whatever it is that you're comfortable with and that works for you, that is absolutely okay. You know, If you needed somebody to tell you it's okay to try all the different methods and see which one works for you, you have my permission, go try it. <laughs> you know, dieting is not about losing weight. It's about, it's about getting your body back into homeostasis, right? It's about being healthier. It's about living a higher quality of life. So you can run out and do all the things that you wanna do. My, my temperament tends to be moderation, 
you know, I like to do things in moderation. I'm not very extreme. So it's okay if you make incremental changes for the better. Other people have that all or nothing personality. And so they just throw everything out of the kitchen and then they just make the change right there. And uh, that, that can blow up over your face if you don't have a solid plan. Like you have a month's worth of meals already planned out, snacks and everything. And like, that's what works for you. Like super, super duper structured. That's fine. Go do it. You know, I, uh, I had to make incremental changes. Every time I went to the grocery store, I swapped out one ingredient for something that was healthier and that worked really well for me. And then once I had completed the swap out of everything, that's when I did my first detox. And I believe that's why it went a little easier for me than it does for other people. Because when you make those healthy changes, you do slowly detox and slowly get healthier and healthier because your body is able to do that naturally on its own. You know, when you lower its toxicity, it'll naturally detox on its own and you'll just naturally start feeling better. When you detox, it speeds that process up, right? And then we feel better a lot faster. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and feelings below. I would love to hear like how you just cut out high fructose corn syrup and you lost weight. I mean, that's great. I mean, it, you want to talk about um, how you struggle with the diet. That's great too. I want to hear it. So anyways, um, I appreciate you guys. See you later. Bye.